Hello? Hi. Okay. Look velocity. Oh, can we delete and save data? Oh yeah, that place. Oh okay. Beep. You're right there. I mean, beep. You're right there. I mean, beep. <laughs> Finding better deal than zero percent APR on certified pre owned vehicles for trucks tougher than a drunk marine come to Mike's pre owned. 
where we do the things that get things done. You can do it. I believe in you. This is all you. Yeah, keep trying. Yeah, there's a trick to it, but you've got it. Yeah, uh, maybe, uh, maybe you can't do it. Maybe you're weak. Maybe you're stupid. You should be embarrassed <laughs> when you keep crawling back like a mewling calf at my chafing teat. Pathetic. You can do it. You can do it. Imagine gravity is fractal, because light is just a wave and gravity is just a wave. So imagine there's a big piece of glass that splits up gravity like a prism, so that there's like blue gravity and yellow gravity, and then somebody gets hit by the red gravity, and it makes them super heavy, so they have super strength, but like, they're also really slow. And another guy gets hit by microwave gravity, so he's trying to zap everybody, and just when he's about to zap the main guy, we see a lady come out, and she turns out to be ultraviolet girl, and she has super speed so she beats him, and it, like, also gave her giant cans. Thomas Pinchon, Gravity's Rainbow. The notion of two realities is uncomfortable, and in recent decades a genuine effort has been made to find the link between quantum and classical so that we can have a single reality whose laws and rules are united at some deeper level. This brings us back to prayers. Let's say that a prayer is a classical event or feels like one. You, a unique individual, have a particular request which you voice in words that no one else is speaking at that instant. What if this classical event gets processed at a non-local level? The notion isn't far-fetched because it seems that the mind-body link does consist of fluctuations at the quantum level. If this is so, then any thought, not just a prayer, has quantum implications. Deepak Chopra, A Spiritual Mystery, Does God Listen to Prayers, Part 2. Ah! Ah! Oh, God! Ah! 
Why did I do that? Oh. I love these puzzles. Who's texting me? Chick fil A? No. New race? What? New race, new reward. Play code Moo today for. Oh, shut up. Imagine gravity is oh, fractal. No, not this again. Because light is just a wave and gravity is just a wave. So imagine there's a big piece of glass that splits up gravity like a prism so that there's like blue gravity and yellow gravity and then somebody gets hit by the red gravity and it makes them super heavy so they have super strength but like they're also really slow and another guy gets hit by microwave gravity so he's trying to zap everybody and just when he's about to zap the main guy we see a lady come out and she turns out to be ultraviolet girl and she has super speed so she beats him and a ship owner was about to send to sea a venerable old ship he knew that her barnacled hull, however, had often needed repairs, and doubts were suggested to him that possibly she was not seaworthy. The conscientious old captain thought at once to have her thoroughly refitted, even though it should put him at great expense. Before the ship sailed, however, he managed to stifle these bothersome misgivings, and said to himself that she had gone safely through so many voyages that it was idle to suppose that this trip should be any different. He put his trust in Providence, and banished from his mind all ungenerous suspicions about the honesty of the ship's builders, and in such ways, he acquired a sincere and comfortable conviction that his vessel was altogether safe and seaworthy. He watched her departure with a light heart, encouraging the crew to dream of the profits that this voyage would return. And he got his insurance money when she went down in mid-ocean and told no tales. What shall we say of him? Surely this, that his belief in the safety of his ship was justified because it was grounded in repeated practical experimentation rather than the hubris of rationalistic a priori belief. It is admitted that he put his confidence in the builders of this vessel, but even this confidence was misplaced, for these were the selfsame charlatans who sought to sell him gratuitous repairs later on, and Big Ship is always trying to get one over on the little guy. Further, we may see that the ship is really You can only get good at chess if you love the game. Grandmaster Bobby Fisher. I hate chess. I hate chess. I hate chess. World champion Bobby Fisher. Not only is the novice unable to perceive the board as the master does, but the master cannot perceive the board as the novice does. A master cannot see the bishop on e3 as a chunk of dead wood any more than you can look at your best friend's face and see a meaningless matrix of colors and shapes. The master once saw the board like this, but now there is no going back. International Master Stuart Rachels, The Reviled Art. That's offensive or something, but okay. Is that all the ships?
Oh, what? Kubla Khan received an ornate letter signed by Marco Polo. In Madrid, city of lost things, no item remains where it was set. If one drops his key in the dirt, he may never re-enter his home, and even if he manages to stoop and recover the key, he may rise to find a tulip garden where his house once stood. In complimentary fashion, things lost by others are forever turning up. A pocket watch on a coffee table, a fond memory in your recollection. I even know of a prince who turned up in a prison cell. When he appealed to the guards for his release, he failed to find the crown on his head, and when he was asked his name, he searched his thoughts but could not find it. Indeed, the only hope now for the release of this prince of Spain <laughs> is for you to send back 300 ducats for his release. Of course, he will reward you handsomely once he is out. Yours truly, Marco. Kublai Khan cocked an eyebrow and declared before his court, Hey everyone, looks like we're about to get ripped off by the guy who traded gold for paper. The court erupted in booming laughter. Italo Calvino, Invisible Cities 2, this time it's, it's visible. visible.
Dang it. Oh, okay. I love braid. Dang it! 
<laughs> this is pretty hard. <laughs> Again. So, last achievement is me getting it to 500. I'm gonna just go through that wall and see if anything happens. If not, then oh well. Beedy beep, beedy beep, dee beedy beep, beedy 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 beedy. Wonder what game engine they used to make this.
What? Video. Ah, who cares? It's still a picture. Pretty sure this is 100% of the game. Except for the the game area. Unless it is dark. Yeah. Go on, get. Don't look at me. Can you hear me? I'm nothing but a rusty chunk of steel. You don't want nothing to do with me. All right, all right. I'll tell you my story. It was June the 8th, 1947. Gray morning, slightly foggy. I had my own practice then, and I was living higher than a cosmonaut on a stepladder. My hints were subtle, too. Real subtle. Back then, they said, good old hint putt. His hints could steal the tail off a weasel. Then they tossed me in the can. No what, no why, no how. sense in the world won't make a nickel to buy you a black coffee. I used rope to tie my pants and pants to tie my shoes. I may do the way a man does until one day after stealing the socks off the fireplace I caught my own look in a puddle of bootleg rye and realized I had to do what I'd never done before. I gave myself a hint. So that's me. I was nothing but a downtown crumb who dreamed of being a whole sandwich. Now I'm just another sloppy Joe. Come back when you got something. Come back when you got a good one. I'll tell you this. When life hauls off and hits me square in the speaker, I don't get mad and I don't give up. Over many nights of thinking hard and drinking hard. Up till the morning, lighting one cup of joe with the smoldering butt of the last slug of rum. This is what I learned. When you're up against the impossible, and there's no getting through it, you might just have to go around it. Get a look at the back of the box, if you get me. Read the nutrition facts, if you follow. 
this castle's rotten from start to end. Red is the color of passion, kid, and you don't let passions mix. Like the curves on the waist of a first-class dame and the curves on a bathtub of second-class hooch. If you let two of those curves touch, kid, then God's gotta help you, because I'll be counting teeth in the trunk of a Chrysler. Just keep on practicing. Remember, kid, practice is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. <laughs> That's coming from Einstein, too, so listen sharp. Back when you got a good one. I'll tell you this. When life falls off and hits me square in the speaker, I don't get mad and I don't give up. Over many nights of thinking hard and drinking hard. Up till the morning lighting one cup of joe with the smoldering butt of the last slug of rum. This is what I learned. When you're up against the impossible and there's no getting through it, you might just have to go around it. Get a look at the back of the box, if you get me. Read the nutrition facts, if you follow. Alright, fine, let me see my video. that thing that's this one no it's this then that all right You probably want me to go the other way around.
go through that, and then the, the leader. This needs to go to the end. But how is it supposed to go to the end? Well, I might as well just look it up now. The uh, full game, whatever, whatever. Except guy. Oh, that makes the most sense, going around it. finish the game now and then brush my teeth. It's a giant cop. <laughs> Bruh. 
Bradley Lavelle. Okay, not not Jonathan Blow. Right. Although it would have been funnier. Bradley Lavelle. <coughs> awesome. Awesome. Extras. Open source. That's me. I mix 50 drinks at a time. Whoever did this is gonna be some kind of whiz with a computer. Oh, I see a witness puzzle. Uh, I, I see it. I see it. Good stack of pennies. I would never hurt you. <laughs> Sorry for my <laughs> That would have given me an achievement if I, yeah.